Hey there, friends. Jeanette Cosson here. Today I'm sharing a project featuring the Thinking of You stamp set by The Stamping Village. This stamp set is a collaborative effort between 12 stamp companies. These companies believe in community over competition and that we're better together. Together, The Stamping Village will be donating $5 from the sale of each Thinking of You stamp set to the Save the Children organization. The Save the Children organization is supporting children during the COVID-19 battle. Amongst other things, they are delivering meals to families struggling with food security. Today, I'm using Hero Art's contribution to the stamp set. It says, you're a hero, and it shows two medical professionals flexing their muscles just like we know they're doing every day. To start, I'm ink blending the Hero Arts Hero Hues cardstock in lapis in size A2, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. For now, I'm just adding a light layering of indigo ink to the top middle section of the card. This will provide definition in the finished project. Next, I've added a bit of temporary spray adhesive to the back of the Hero Arts Sun Background Stencil. And once I've allowed that to dry on the back completely, I've checked to make sure my stencil is only slightly tacky. Then I've pressed the stencil in place using the bottom edge of the cardstock as a guide. Continue blending the indigo ink to create bold rays of color. Next, I'm going to continue ink blending right around the center of the circle to add additional depth. I'm using grape juice ink. Next, I'm going back to the indigo ink to deepen up the edge of the card. Then I'm going to blend the center circle of the design. But instead of struggling with my little scrap here, I'm gonna use the circle that I removed and cut around it, creating a quick little mask. Just loosely cut around the circle and then flip the part we cut out to the other side and tape together with any tape. I've used purple tape. Quick, easy, and effective. Blend away until the perimeter of the circle is complete. Then I'm stamping our image in Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink, which is Copic friendly, onto Hero Arts Dove White cardstock in the Hero Arts Black Misty. The Misty is my favorite way to do stamping, but an acrylic block will work as well. I almost always stamp my images twice, and I almost always stamp more than one image because Murphy's Law is if I stamp one image, I will mess it up. If I stamp two or more images, I'll be good to go the first time around. That's how it always seems to work for me. So. I give the extras to my kiddos and they love to craft along with me and that's how we both win. So then I'm going to jump into some Copic coloring. I'm going to color the scrubs first and that's going to be in shades B18, B24, and B21. B21 is the lightest shade I'll be using and I'm going to go in first with that and map out where my shadows are going to be. So the shadows will eventually actually be the darkest color but I like to draw them in first with the lightest color to make sure that those shadows are exactly where I want them. I do not have any formal training. I don't have an artist background. I've just kind of taught myself along the way and picked up tips from other crafters or, you know, little classes I've taken here and there. And I learned from observing and looking at other people's art and how they've colored in their shadows. The most I've learned is by doing. The more I practice, the more I'm comfortable, the better I do and the better I like my own work. But most of all, I like to color. And so then I'm gonna color in the letters here in RV29, a nice bright cherry red. The stars are Y15. The stethoscope I'm coloring in C8, C6, C2, and C0. So this guy here, he's gonna be pretty light complected. I'm gonna go with E000, E00, and E11. Again, going in with my lightest shade first to map out the shadows, and then going in with my darker shades to build the color and then blend out to the light. I'm even gonna add a little extra curve in here to make this guy even more buff. Okay, and then I'm gonna make her a little darker complected. I'm gonna use E21, E11, E23, and E25. And yes, she's getting muscles too. So then I'm gonna color her hair with a dot pattern to give it some texture. And I'm gonna go in with E35, E37, E49, and E79. His hair is gonna be E50, E51, E53, and E35. Before I put my background panel in place, I'm going to ink up the Sunburst Bold Print with Hero Arts Embossing Ink. And this is just gonna give me a guide. And when I open that up, I'll see exactly where my circle is. And then I'm gonna add some removable adhesive to the back of my panel. So that'll help secure it in place. 
And I'm just going to put this in here and kind of ballpark it because for me, that's good enough. I'm going to ink up the bold print once again. I'm going to dust my panel with some anti-static powder. I just use cornstarch and a cup and a paintbrush. Close the door of the Misty. Then I'm going to pencil in a couple of lines here just for easy realignment. And then I'm going to heat emboss that with Hero Arts Ultra Fine Embossing Powder and a heat tool. To create a quick and easy mask, I grabbed a sheet of scratch paper and then I'm going to ink up the bold print once again and stamp it on the scratch paper and then cut out right along the edge of the stamp design and then place my panel to where the bottom corners are going to be just inside the circle print. Set the scratch paper in place to cover up your already embossed design on the card. And we're repeating. Ink up again, stamp again, and clear emboss just like we did in the step before. I've die cut a few Hero Arts 12 point infinity stars in Dove White, Cherry, and Mustard cardstocks. I didn't end up using the mustard today, but they looked pretty freaking cool too. And once I finally decided on the placement of the 12 point stars, I've tucked and overlapped, and then I've adhered them in place with Hero Arts Precision Glue. I went ahead and cut out our stamp design and cut out a pitch black mat for it. Pop up the stamped image with foam tape and secure in place. And finally, I am placing a top folding card base in the corner of my Misty with the black foam mat removed. And I'm adding some liquid glue. And then I'm going to pop my finished panel right in place. But if you are a dry tape adhesive fan, this tip is awesome. Thank you for joining me today featuring Hero Arts products with the Stamping Village Thinking of You stamp set. I hope that you are happy and healthy and you get a chance to get creative too. Have a beautiful day.